Remember the old time? In a photo op moment, Marco Rubio strolls into West Miami City Hall with his wife voting early, ahead of next week's winner take all primary. I mean, literally standing right outside in the sidewalk is where my career began in elected office. So it's an incredible privilege and honor to be able to vote for myself for president just a few blocks from where I grew up. A reminder to Florida voters that he's counting on them to give his struggling campaign a boost. He's also counting on a group of voters whose support could be pivotal fellow Cuban Americans. There are nearly 800,000 Cuban American voters in the Sunshine State, many of them in South Florida, conservative and Republican, who backed the senator before. Marco, for me, is the best. Ted Cruz has also been playing up his Cuban heritage, his campaign opening 10 offices across the state, several in South Florida, and like Rubio, Cruz strongly opposes President Obama's policy to normalize relations with Cuba. But there's a growing divide within the Cuban-American community in Florida, as shown by these recent protests in Little Havana. Today, the polling that FIU has done in particular, like our Cuba poll, has demonstrated that you know there is a greater a great support for opening relations with Cuba especially among younger Cuban Americans the older generation however supports isolation until Cuba sees internal change the, or the older Cuban they don't really want to have the older the first community that came from the 60s and the 80s I don't think they really I want that interaction with the Cuban community, but the people nowadays, the, the, you know, the newest ones that have come and, and young people this generation, I think they do. Trump, you got it. Trump, you got it. Those differences could open the door for Donald Trump, who has come out in favor of the new Cuba policy. A hard line with Cuba, no longer a deciding factor for these influential voters. Joshua Plogel, The Associated Press, Miami.